I got hired by my dad to do IT. I know very little about IT besides games. These are my IT stories. Be first day. Woman asks me if I can install the latest version of Adobe Reader. Fuck yeah, I got this. Download like a boss. Wow, you're like a computer expert. Well, you know. Ask to input admin credentials. Forget admin credentials. Try admin password. Nope.jpg. Um, uh, oh, oh crap, something's going on with the server. Be right back. Three months later, she still doesn't have Adobe Reader. B. Day 2. Angry guy is on the phone asking me about some weird in house program. Have no idea what the fuck is saying. There's a pose. He's waiting for an answer. Think back to the IT crowd. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Like, restarting. Give me a sec. It fucking worked. Day 3. Hot sales rep comes in with laptop issues. She's 9 out of 10 cougar. All flurry with me. Tells me she needs something updated. Can only hear her boobs. Her laptop smells like strawberries. Download Adobe Reader for her and hand it back. Day 4. Figure out how to turn off the servers. When people start asking for help, go into server room, turn off servers, come out oblivious and start downloading Adobe Reader. Eventually people start screaming, the site's down, the site's down, I'm on it! Run back to the server room, play Hotline Miami in the back for a few hours. Turn server back on near end of day. Come out of server room, white bro from face. I did it! People are singing my praises, saying I saved the day. Really just saved the girlfriend in Hotline Miami. Day 5. Run into Kugor at coffee machine. Ask her how things are going, just a general statement. Instantly thinks I'm talking shop. Starts telling me all the shit wrong with her computer. She doesn't see me as a human. She sees me as an IT. Tell her to drop off her laptop. She does. I upgrade her Internet Explorer. Download a Adobe Reader. Restart the machine. Everything's fucking working. Run it back to her. Fix my hair. Check my breath. Act like I saved the day. She's in her office on the phone. She motions to put her on the desk. I do. Kind of linger. Is that everything, hon? Leave. Hear her say, oh, it was just IT. Just IT. That is all I am now. Day 6. Really bored. Decide to download a Game Boy emulator and play some Pokemon. The web filter is blocking it, so I turn it off. The whole thing. I, I don't just whitelist it, I turn it all off. Get to emulator site, but now I need to turn off the antivirus. Use the admin, which I know now how to do it. End up turning off the whole antivirus settings on the server. Download my emulator and ROM. Play my game. Guy comes into my office. I think I caught virus me. Gotta catch him all. By the time I'm facing Misty, four people have viruses. Day 7. Same guy that was yelling at me day 2 is yelling at me again. He can't remotely log in just as I'm about to leave to go home. Try turning it off, then on again, then call me back. Go home. Day 8. Guy call from day 7 calls back. He's pissed. Tells me he lost a client because of my stupidity. Shit happens, man. I lost to Team Rocket like 10 minutes ago. What the fuck are you talking about? Click. Day 9. One of the printers is out of toner. Some fat guy tells me to change it. It's toner, man. Can't you change it? 
I'm working on this huge issue with the server. I was really downloading Steam. Uh, I'll it'll take a second. God, I have much more important stuff to do. That's why you're here. Sigh so and go to do it. Can't figure out how to fucking open the fucking cartridge door. Start hitting it like they do in Zolander. Tell the poor mentally challenged guy in the mailroom I have a special job for him. He has to hide the magic egg in the chest of Hewlett Packard. Go back to my server business. Half an hour later, the fat guy comes into my office. What the fuck did you do to the printer? Change the toner. He just starts shaking his head and muttering shit. We walk over to it. The mailroom guy jammed the cartridge in the wrong way and actually lodged it in there so half of it is sticking out. The door can't even close. There's black handprints all over the printer too. Can't feel the guy judging me so I just pew bullshit. Uh, looks to be a, probably a problem with the network. The printer was down for over a month before I figured out we have a printer guy on call. Day 10. Have to set up projector in the boardroom. Can't find a Thunderbolt to HDMI cable to hook it up. Too lazy to go to the store. Don't even have a corporate card either. Tell the people needing the projector that there's a compatibility issue with MacBooks. They use some guy's Dell book. The files from the Mac end up not running in the Dell book. Call me in mid-meeting. All these business people staring at me as I am randomly clicking folders as fast as possible to look like I am pro. Download Adobe Reader. Double click files. Works. Thanks, Anon! You saved me! Day 11. There's a new hire. No one fucking told me anything. Get screamed at that there's no computer for this new person! Going back to see if we have any spares. There's a few, but there's also some really old PCs from like early 90s. Boot it up. Works! Set up new person. Everything lags. You open Adobe Reader? Massive fucking lag. Send out the computer. It's the best we got on short notice. Get like 40 SharePoint tickets the first day from that person. He's a real stickler for help. He ends up quitting the very next week, saying he can't work under these conditions. <laughs> Day 12. Someone's computer crashed. Fuck! Set up computer. Remember something about profiles being saved on the network. Go back to the server room. Look at the server rack like a total idiot as I try and figure out in my head how this works. Tell the guy all his data is lost and there's nothing I can do. But, but, but my project, I have to present that to the board on, on Friday. Gone, man. It's gone. Play Sim Theme Park the rest of the day. <laughs> day 13. Roll up to work an hour late. Hold office is in chaos. Fall off robe.jpg. He's here! Go into my office, open up mail. Dozens of emails like, hey, is there something wrong with the server I can log into? Uh, any idea why the site is down? The server is actually down. Adobe Reader can't save me now. <laughs> Now, <laughs> just go back there and do what you did last time. Everyone thinks it's an easy solve. Literally shaking in the server room because I don't know what to do. Nap in server room for an entire day. People are pissed. You can hear them banging on server door. We've missed deadlines. Leave at 6.30 p.m. The CFO sees me in the parking lot. He's been in a meeting all day, doesn't know about my struggles. 
you're still here. That's the kind of can-do attitude I like to see. <laughs> Day 14. Server is still down. My dad's asking questions. Everyone is pissed. Take an early lunch. Over here, some guys at the restaurant talking about buying a new modem for the office. Hail Mary.jpg. Hey, sorry to bother you during your lunch, but would either of you happen to be IT? Before either of them could read me the riot act and tell me something like, how the fuck dare I? I'm IT too. I show them my hand that I scratched up crawling wire on the floor. They nod. What would you try doing if your server is completely fucked? Have you tried restarting it? I go back and restart the physical machine. It fucking works. <laughs> Day 15. Hot Cougar walks by office looking distressed. Everything okay? Ah, good. I can't log into my email. Can you please help me? Please. I gotcha. Get a laptop. Reinstall Microsoft Office. Outlook works again. Poke through her emails to make sure things are working. Send a test file. Read the title of her latest emails. Divorce. Hand back her laptop. Looks like it's working now. Thanks. Everything okay? Well... This is fucking it. Tell me your sub-stories, cougar woman, and then it is on! My mouse is acting a bit funny. Can I get a new one? Day 16. One of the mailroom guy's monitors isn't working. It's coming up all green. Backstory, there has been a huge misappropriation of funds because I gave him dual monitors just because he's mentally challenged, and I figured if anyone needs two screens, it's him! <laughs> All he does is look at MSN slideshows and use the FedEx web app or something. He's a nice guy, so I actually try and fix it for him. Nothing's working. Think it's a driver issue. Think it's a settings issue. Thinks it's an actual hardware issue. Whole time people are coming to me with real problems, but I keep saying, I'll be there in a minute. After two hours, the mailroom guy goes, Maybe the puggy broken. I swapped out the HDMI cable with a brand new one. It worked! I officially am less adept at my job than a poor, mentally challenged guy. Day 17. Nice old woman who talks to me about sports tells me her keyboard is shit. She's the oldest person in the office by far. Old as dirt. Tell her I have just a thing. Go in the back and unbox a brand new keyboard meant for the programmers. Bring it to the old woman. You're such a helpful young man. Reach down awkwardly to plug in the new keyboard. Get back up and dust bands off. Old lady looks like she's having a heart attack. Look at the screen. It's fucking blank. On my way back up to my feet, I hit the power button. She lost three hours of work. Three hours that old woman will never ever see again. Day 18. Company meeting. We are over budget. There has been ridiculous spending. We've lost money for almost a month. Day 18. Almost a month. They are going to out me. IT budget comes up in discussion. We are one of two departments that are coming under budget. Great job, Annan. I heard about the server issues here. You're the man. At the end of the meeting, a 45-year-old events planner asks me if I fix computer on the side. Uh, not really. Oh, I have this one blasted thing that needs fixing. You couldn't just come over and fix it? Bullshit. 
For a laugh, I say, yeah, it's cool, just give me your dress and I'll be over after work. Not sure if I'm getting sex. Buy condoms. She's not even that hot. Just a uh, six out of ten tops. Not even going to lie. Last call, kind of hot. Ring the doorbell while standing old Suave leaned up against the door. Her husband answers the door. Shows me to the computer. Install the latest version of Adobe Reader. Get $20. Go home. Day 19. Some guy crashes a program, so I have to re-input the settings. Go on to his cubicle mate's computer. Check settings. Two hours later. You wrecked my computer! I want my fucking computer back exactly how it was! I don't know what you did, but something's off. My USB drive is buzzing. What the fuck? I didn't do shit to your computer. I checked the program you open 20 times a day. Super pissed, so I go back into the server room and play Thomas was alone. Hear knock on server room door. It's the cubicle mate. Hey, thanks for fixing it. Fixing what? The... my USB drive. I didn't do shit, lol. Oh yeah! Don't mention it. Day 20. Spend entire day cleaning the server room up, getting it all nice. Just unplugging network cables willy-nilly so I can color coordinate them. People are losing their shit. <laughs> Uh, they are randomly getting kicked off. Tell people there are some issues with our ISP. I make sure to say ISP as I have now learned by speaking abbreviations no matter how common makes you sound techy. By the end of the day the server rack is all classy looking. Unfortunately I never mapped anything. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, I never mapped anything and a handful of people can't connect because their ports aren't connected to anything. Tell them the ISP will have it done ASAP and go home. Day 21. Now that the server room is all clean, I set up all the test boxes in the back. Eight machines in total, all connected to the network. Try joining monitors all together, like you see on cool threads. You know, like the racing ones? Realize these are shit old monitors and you can't do that. Come up with the great idea of Bitcoin mining with these boxes. Set it up for the first half of the day. After lunch, I'm mining. Terribly! But I am mining! People start complaining about server lag. Blame the lag on the Olympics. Suggest that the whole office must be streaming it. Ban the Olympics on the web filter. Office is divided. Can see the divide in my email. People who are pissed about not being able to watch the Olympics. And the keeners who think it's all work and no play at work. I've officially gained power though. People respect me for making this mandate. He's a real company guy. <laughs> day 22. It's birthday day. Office celebrates all the month's birthday. Take cake. Set up N64 in the boardroom. Challenge people in the office to golden eye. Keep saying, hey, I'm just taking a five minute break for some cake. Want a quick game? I'm the shit out of all of them. Realize I did absolutely nothing all day but eat cake and game. No one ever noticed. <laughs> day 23. Cougar calls in from the road. She's having trouble accessing key app for a client on her iPad. She tells me its name. Have no idea what it is. But make sure to sound astute. Ask her if she's using Wi-Fi or 3G. How do I check? Never mind, let me check from my main core system. Google the app, but nothing comes up. 
ask one of the other salespeople. Oh, it's just an infographic on our main site. Tell the hot cougar to come into the office because it's going to require me to hard code the changes in. She drives two hours to come into the office so I can open up Safari and bookmark it to her iPad. <laughs> Day 24. People heard from the 45 year old Evans Planner I do house calls. Bunch of idiots are bringing in their home computers, mobile devices, anything technical for me to fix. Tell people I can only do it after hours and I charge $20 for small stuff and $50 for large. Most of it is simple fixes. Windows updates or Adobe Reader installs fixes. <laughs> but then I get it. The laptop from hell. This fat Indian guy hands me his laptop in a plastic bag. Not a laptop bag, a plastic one. What's wrong with it? You tell me, genius. Load it up and it's asking for some system restore or something. Just hit next and uh, okay. Fixes it, but it says I need to load check disk. Figure that has something to do with the CD drive. Open it up. There's a thick fucking layer of breadcrumbs in the tray. Tilted the machine to its side. Motherfucking breadcrumbs just pouring out of the laptop. Restart the machine. It loads perfectly. Turns out the guy was using it as a tray for his morning bagel. Fucking toaster laptops. Day 25. Even though I'm shit at IT. One guy thinks because I am IT, I am super techy. He asks me what my favorite browser is. Google Ultron. Is it like Chrome? Shit, that's what I meant. Uh, yeah, but better. It's what NASA uses. Cool, could you download that for me? Oh, yeah, no worries. Literally start shaking the mouse back and forth so fast you can see the cursor. Then control I'll delete it into Task Manager. There you go, hold on. It looks like Google Chrome, but it's really Ultron. No one else can tell. To this day, he still thinks he runs Google Ultron. Day 26. Some woman calls me over. You'll just take a sec. It's super simple. Shit. Asks me how to hook her up to a new printer. She hops out of her chair and lets me sit down. Forget how to add network printers. Her and her friend are talking right over my shoulder, staring at the screen. Is this going to take long? I fake deep thought as I stare at the screen with one hand on my temple. Anon, I have a deadline. Is this going to... What the fuck? Both of the women are startled. There's a virus on this machine. And I just storm off like a bitch. <laughs> Day 27. Learn about a remote access tool that the whole office uses. Decide to haunt the old nice old lady from before. I randomly move the mouse for a few hours. She struggles to do basic tasks. She comes and asks me for a new mouse. Oblige her. Hook it up and leave. Look back at remote tool. Mouse is moving again. She opens up Word. I begin to type. Hi. No response. Hi. Hello? Who is this? It's Jeff. <laughs> Day 28. A guy asks me to burn him a copy of a DVD for a presentation. Holy fuck! I know how to do that! Burn it for him. March back down to his office, proudly holding the DVD high in the air. Woman tries to stop me. Hey, can you... Not now! I've got IT business to attend to. Hand the guy his burn DVD. This might be one of the first things I've done right here. Tear in my eye. So proud of how far I have come. I am true IT. Five minutes later, I get a call. 
hey, uh, yeah, there's nothing on the DVD. <laughs> Day 29. Give new hire her new laptop. Nothing is fucking set up right. Forgot to hook up her Outlook to exchange. No worries, she did it herself. Cool. She asks me if I can type in the admin credentials so she can download some social media tool. Sure. Fuck up the login credentials like three times and get locked out. Have to unlock it from my machine. Can't figure it out, but go back because I left my Game Boy in her office. She starts making small talk. So, where do you go to school to become an IC person? She is fucking onto me. Try logging in once more to admin account. Locked out still. Yeah, you know what? I think this Hootsuite extension is a virus. I don't want that shit on my network. <laughs> Day 30. Here's where shit starts to really hit the fan. As you know, I had set up a Bitcoin mining rig in the server room. It was just eating up all the bandwidth. The whole network was barely operational. And now, because of my ineptitude and blaming things on viruses, people started a rumor that the whole network was being attacked by a rogue hacker group. <laughs> After lunch, I get pulled into a meeting with all the execs. The jig is up. As you know, we've been experiencing a multitude of issues with our network. I'm fucked. From the lag to the viruses, so fucked. We want you to head up the investigation and find out who's doing this and why. Rolling on the floor laughing. I am the fucking dirty cop on the force who's tasked with finding the dirty cop. I am the fucking low. Day 31. Tell people I'm running server calibrations. It's like dusting for fingerprint. <laughs> no one's the wiser. Of course. Show this one middle-aged guy with a beard how to use a web app. Go to favorite it for him and put it on the toolbar. Notice all of his favorites. Big Diddy housewife. Pajama butt slut. Mexican girl on bus. Mouse over them as I mouth read them. He starts freaking out. Begs me not to tell. Why shouldn't I? I'll buy you lunch. Got 10 chicken nuggets. Day 32. For some reason, the entire office is having to fill in a CAPTCHA every time they Google anything. Have no idea why this is happening. Google Ultron guy asks me if this has to do with the virus and if he should be backing up his data. First, always back up your data. He nods to my tech savvy. <laughs> Second, it's a security measure I've put in place. There are robots afoot. He nods again, like my word is law. <laughs> Day 33. Ultron guy labs and tells everyone about Google Ultron. Now everyone in the fucking office has a SharePoint ticket asking for it to be installed. <laughs> A few of the more competent people are asking me what the fuck Google Ultron is. <laughs> I just give them finger guns until they walk away. <laughs> I have to spend an entire day going from desktop to desktop pretending to download Google Ultron. Literally spend three to four hours pretending to download software that NASA uses. One girl asks me if this is even legal. Are you a cop? She reports me to HR for criminal-like behavior 
have already explained to HR what Google Ultron is. HR thinks it's real. HR thinks NASA uses it. HR tells the NARC to stop interfering with important technological matters because the NARC doesn't know anything about IT like me. Doesn't know anything about IT like me. <laughs> day 34. Been playing Portal 2 all day in my office. Haven't heard so much as a complaint. Haven't had to update Adobe Reader or Adobe Flash all fucking day. Something's not right. No one said shit about it. Book my head out of the office. Everyone's head's down just typing away. Starting to get worried. Ask a guy how his computer is working. Great! Ever since you downloaded Google Ultron, my whole computer has just been flying. What the fuck? Do a quick Google search on Google Chrome. Supposedly, it automatically downloads the most up-to-date versions of Adobe. Oh my fucking god! If I don't have fucking Adobe Reader, I'm fucking out of a job! Send out mass email. Attention! Do not open Google Ultron! It has been hacked! <laughs> Spend the rest of the day uninstalling and making Internet Explorer <laughs> the default browser! <laughs> Day 35. People are becoming restless with the hacker virus stuff. They wonder why I haven't solved the case yet. Some even believe it's not a hacktivist group like I've been hinting. We're not just dealing with amateurs here, we're dealing with the best. And that's why I need to update your antivirus scanner. Just to strike the fear into people. I covertly turn on the computer of a person who is sick and stationed right in the middle of one of the larger areas. Turn off her monitor. Put speakers full. Then go back to office and remote in. Play Wham's Jitterbug at 3 seconds interval throughout the day. <laughs> ah, jitterbug. <laughs> Eventually, people start coming out to my office to report this. I nod. It's worse than I thought. What? What is it? It's the Jitterbug Gang, one of the world's best hacking groups. I never heard of them. That's why they're the best. <laughs> Day 36. Check messages. Local police call. Fuck! need to speak with me, since I am IT, about recent hacks on our organization. Delete message. Cougar comes into my office, asks if I can adjust her desktop so the wallpaper changes every couple minutes. Sure. Head over there with her. She tells me she's getting a divorce. Oh. Says she's actually starting to date again, and it's pretty awkward. Fuck it. Wanna maybe grab a beer sometime after work? She laughs. What? I mean, why not? You're joking, right? You're IT. My eyes well up as I stare as Adobe prompts me that Reader has a new update. Just gotta download this. Day 37. Feeling like shit today. Cougar told her sales friends that I tried asking her out. People are laughing behind my back. Can't hear the whispers. Ew, <laughs> IT? Ew! Want to just open up a computer and jump through the moving CPU fan? <laughs> mean sales guy who usually calls, yeah, that one, stops by office. My laptop's not working. I trudge over to his desk with him. Hit the power button for a reset. Don't say anything. Just walk away. If that's all you ever do, why do we need you? Turn around. What? If you only ever just restart my computer, why are we paying you? I can restart my own damn computer. Grin. Have you ever repaired a server here? Do you know how hard it is to get it operational? We 
remember how we were down for a day and a half? He shakes his head. That's what I thought. Of course, I just restarted it, lol. Day 38. Still feel like shit after the cougar shut me down. Decide to block one major site on the web filter every hour. Feel like the Joker doing it. First, YouTube. Then, eBay. Then, Reddit. Hear the moans from people as they read my web filter note. This is a place of work, not a fun house. One woman storms into my office. This is not funny, this is serious. Why so serious? I ask her. I need you to unblock eBay. Oh, seriously? I have an auction ending in five minutes. Put it back on the safe list. But it was too late. She missed out on her cell phone case. <laughs> Day 39. An investigator comes to the office. The XX were worried that we had too much to lose and wanted to bring in a professional. I'm fucked. Show him around the office. He keeps asking to see the server room. And this is Carol. She's a riot. Aren't you, Carol? Doing everything I can to stall. We go back into the server room. He compliments me on how neat the cables are. Think about picking up a monitor and bashing his skull in and then running away to Mexico. Can't do it. I'm not a monster. I'm IT. The guy goes onto the server, asks me for the login info. Figure the jig is up. Give it to him. He logs in. Opens up Internet Explorer. Looks over his shoulder at me. You don't need to be here. It's fine. I need to be there when it happens. He literally starts shaking his mouse really quickly around the Internet Explorer, clicking on random parts of the screen. I know because a pop-up for Home Depot came up. He starts muttering to himself. Hmm. Hmm. Watch him type in Adobe Reader in Google. He downloads it. Swings his cursor around some more. And then finally goes, Fucking hackers, right? We are brothers, he and I. IT brothers. Day 40. Wake up and realize how lucky I truly am not to be fired or worse. See Cougar Girl working into the office from parking lot. Asks me how things are going. I think we finally put an end to the Jitterbug gang. No, I meant not work stuff. Look at her strangely and smile. Oh, you know how it is. She flicks her hair and then laughs. What the fuck? Cool, I'm having problems opening a file. Can you open it for me, hon? <sighs> yeah, sure. We walk into her office. She's being all flirty. Click on the SharePoint link of a PDF file. Won't open. Download how to be reader. While it's loading, I ask her what she's planning on doing on the weekend. I'm going to the mountains with this guy for our first getaway. Stop Adobe Reader at 8%. Walk right out. I. Am. IT. Day 41. This hot yoga girl from Evans comes into my office. Her keyboards keep typing in French. Too busy playing Flappy Bird to care. So, are you going to help me? If things slow down, I've been swamped today. I'm going to fucking kill you. She waggles her glorious yoga butt away. Cute girl, and don't even care anymore. Just one day to fucking end. I hate this fucking job. All I do is get yelled at and download Adobe Reader. I can't even find joy in games anymore. Dad walks by, sees him looking blue. Dad takes me out for lunch, pats me on the shoulder. 
I'm so proud of you, son. To date, the company is in fucking shambles. And I still am primarily an Adobe Reader downloader, but I wouldn't change any of it for his very next words. I love you, son. Thanks, guys, and thanks, Dad, for the job. Don't forget to download your Adobe Readers, guys. 